But for you guys, you have declared this day a new holiday. And we're going to celebrate with you. We're going to celebrate because we're watching a great young couple start their journey together as one. We celebrate because we have seen the love and joy you so obviously give to each other. We celebrate because we get to watch your destiny together unfold before us. We celebrate because we get to participate with you and encourage you and support you and pray for you in your journey together. She didn't even use lines. Look at her. Dear Matthew, from the very first moment we locked eyes, I knew it. I knew it would be you. I can now say that I believe in love at first sight. When I look into your eyes, I see adventure and love to last a lifetime. I see my greatest friend. We've had our ups and downs, but we are standing strong. I will always fight for our love no matter what life throws at us. Together we are a team that cannot be defeated. Dearest Caitlin, it's hard to believe, but today is the day. You have dreamt of this day since you were a little girl. We have been looking forward to this day for over four years since we have been engaged. As I prepare my heart, body, and mind to marry you and spend my life with you, I find myself reflecting on how we have gotten to where we are and the road we have traveled to get here. To give glory to him who is able to do super abundantly, far over and above all that we ask or think, infinitely beyond our highest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, and dreams. Matthew and Caitlin, I encourage you guys today, as you begin your new marriage with this hope of God's infinite ability to fulfill your highest hopes and dreams. Stir up with each, each other new hopes, new dreams, and stir up within each other new desires. This is your day. It's your new day of holiday that you're going to celebrate for hopefully the next 70 years. And they go by really fast, let me tell you. This is your day. Seize it and live it to the fullest. Dear Heavenly Father, what a privilege it is to be joined here to watch Matthew and Caitlin join together as one, as husband and wife. Father, we ask for your holy presence to be here, to be with them. I ask and pray that this day would be everything that they hope and desire it to be. And Lord, we ask for your highest blessings to be upon Matthew and Caitlin from this day forward, for their blessings, for their marriage for their desires, for their hopes and dreams, Father. Let your hand of blessing be upon them. We thank you for it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.
I know sometimes I don't show or tell you how much you mean to me, but Matthew, you mean the world to me, and I am so thankful that God placed you into my life when he did. You lighten up my life in more ways than I could list. Thank you for choosing me. Surprise each other with gifts and flowers and kind acts and beautiful words of encouragement and flattery and surprises. You know, Caitlin, maybe even Matt can, Matthew can serenade you occasionally. Or maybe not, depending on how well he sings. That's, a, that's true. We'll see. The tubas are great. Right, that's even better. Even better. You can find romance in all instruments. That's exactly right. Matthew, do you take Caitlin as your wife, as your own flesh, to love her as Christ loves the church, to be a servant leader in your house, to seek the interests and needs of Caitlin ahead of your own, to protect her, to nurture and encourage her, and care for her for the rest of your lives? I do. And turn to her and make this profession of your faith. I, Matthew. I, Matthew. Promise these things to you. Promise these things to you. And to God and to God. I promise to love you forever. I promise to love you forever. I promise to devote my mind. I promise to devote my mind. My body. My body. And my soul to you. my soul to you. To complete your other half. To complete your other half. As you complete mine. As you complete mine. I promise to cherish you in every way. I promise to cherish you in every way. Spiritually spiritually, physically, physically, and emotionally forever. And emotionally forever. I will hold nothing back from you. I will hold nothing back from you. I promise to honor. I promise to honor. Respect. Respect. And serve you. And serve you. I promise to be faithful. I promise to be faithful. Honest. Honest. And true. And true. And I will always be there for you. And I will always be here for you. This day, this day, I take you, Caitlin. I take you, Caitlin, to be my wife. To be my wife. Caitlin, do you take Matthew as your husband, as your own flesh, to love him as Christ loves the church, to be a servant leader in your house, to seek the interests and needs of Matthew ahead of your own, to protect him, to nurture and encourage him, and care for him for the rest of your lives? I do. Then turn to him and make this profession of your faith. I, Caitlin, I, Caitlin, promise these things, promise these things to you and to God, to you and to God. I promise to love you forever. I promise to love you forever. I promise to devote my mind. I promise to devote my mind, my body, my body, and my soul to you, and my soul to you, to complete your other half, to complete your other half, as you complete mine, as you complete mine. I promise to cherish you in every way. I promise to cherish you in every way. Spiritually. Spiritually. Physically. Physically. And emotionally forever. Emotionally forever. I will hold nothing back from you. I will hold nothing back from you. I promise to honor. I promise to honor. Respect. Respect. And serve you. And serve you. I promise to be faithful. I promise to be faithful. Honest. Honest. And true. And true. And I will always be there for you. And I will always be there for you. This day. This day, I take you, Matthew. I take you, Matthew, to be my husband. To be my husband. Matthew, take this ring, place it on Caitlin's finger, and say this to her. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. I believe with all my heart. I believe with all my heart that this is forever. That this is forever. It is a token of my love and faith. It is a token of my love and faith. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Caitlin, take this ring, place it on Matthew's finger, and say this to him. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. I believe with all my heart. I believe with all my heart that this is forever. That this is forever. It is a token of my love and faith. It is a token of my love and faith. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Guys, your journey begins today. 
And all of these people gathered here today are here to support, encourage, love, and pray for God's richest blessings to be upon you both. Begin on a right foundation, run the journey of life in unity, and finish strong to the end. As a representative of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and Matthew, you may now kiss your wife.
My brother Matthew Robertson is a very great man. He has always been by my side, and he is always willing to come help us if we need him. I have, made I have made many great memories with my brother Matt, and I know we'll make many more. I know he's going to be a great husband to Caitlin, because he's always done her right in the past. And I know if they have children, he's going to be a great father to them. Matt is very intelligent and always makes good decisions. I know he will make the right decisions for his family. I remember when I was little, Matt used to have a little white Acura Integra, and he, we would go to Tilt, a little arcade at North Park Mall on it, and we always had a great time. I remember when I was little, um, I went with Matt and some of his friends to a football game in a Willard, and we went back there for the track meet and still the cr same crappy stadium. I remember about a year ago, Matt got into a car wreck, and I prayed that night to God about at least three or four times, saying thank you for watching after him, making sure he was okay. Matt has showed me many things. He has showed me how to cast a fishing pole. He showed me how to use a weeder. He showed me how to replace a car stereo. He explained to me how a motor works. But most of all, he showed me how to be, how to be a great person. And I believe that Matt and Caitlin will have a great life together and a great marriage. Matt is my second favorite person right after my own mother. And he is the best brother that anyone has ever had or that anyone will ever have. Because of my brother Matthew, this world is a much better place. I love you, Matt. My name is Emily and I am the maid of honor. Um, Caitlin and I have been best friends since second grade and neighbors for longer than that, before we even realized it. I remember when we were little and we used to meet at the fence <laughs> of our uh, other neighbor's pasture that was between us and we always had such a great time. When we were little, I remember when we had slumber parties, we get into a lot of trouble, had a lot of antics, and uh, always partners in crime. Usually when I stayed the night with Caitlin, we'd play MASH or some similar game, and we'd always dream about the husbands that we someday have. Um, very honored to be up here next to Caitlin, and very thankful that she was next to me at my wedding also. I wish you both the best, and I really don't know what to say because I'm about to cry, so okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna not cry over here. Hello, my name is Jeremy, if you don't know who I am. <laughs> Matt, when I came into your life, you were only 14. You were such a son, uh, young pup. I've got to watch you grow and mature over the years. Now I've got to hear some great stories. My favorite being that when guys would come over to see your sisters, you would challenge them to a sword fight. After nine and a half years, I'm still waiting for mine. <laughs> There's stories of endless nights of Monopoly, Rook, and Scrabble. And countless nights, countless nights, uh, spending time making great memories as a family. I know family has always been important to you. And even how, as we sit here, you are being, beginning a new one and joining all of us as one. And I'm very honored. Hi. Not, not your turn. <laughs> to call you my brother, my family. Caitlin, you're a wonderful woman who deserves a wonderful husband. And I want to stop until I get to the bottom of this, of what happened here. Matt has so many wonderful attributes. He's charming, handsome, and witty. Um, sorry, Matt, I'm having a hard time reading your writing. <laughs> All joking aside, Matt is one of the most qualified people I know. You have definitely snagged a good one here, Caitlin. He's very hardworking, clever, and a handsome devil, too. I have no doubt he will be a great husband and, down the line, an awesome father. Caitlin balances him out as well. She's beautiful, obviously. 
But getting to know her over the years, I have found her to be goal-driven and motivated to succeed. She has a great sense of humor, and the two of them can keep you laughing. They have grown so much together, and now look at them. They're happily newlyweds. We're toasting tonight. Matt, a word of advice. Someone once told me a real man never stops trying to show a woman how much he means to him, even after he's gotten her. Okay, raise the drinks. I wish you years and years of happiness and love. No matter, never stop going that extra mile for one another. When you feel like you're getting comfortable or complacent, remember that quote. Spice things up, do, all, do the small things for one another, and always remind the other of how much you love them. Cheers to both of you guys. Love you. I enjoy the ride Say you don't like conversation I know that's a lie Every time we kiss goodnight I come alive Fall asleep to your sweet love That gets me high We belong together I never tried When trouble comes, you're next to me We belong together I like coffee dates at midnight You like Friday nights at home I know I drive you crazy You can't help but make it known Every time we kiss goodnight, I call Sweet love that gets me high We belong together I never tried you for another There's nowhere else I'd rather be When trouble comes, you're next to me We belong together Today will be gone before we know it. Try to take in as much as you can, and I will do the same. We've been waiting for this day for so long, if only time stood still. I can't wait to continue this life with you and watch God's plan unfold. I long to cherish every second, minute, hour, month, and year by your side. I promise to stand by your side to love you and honor you as my husband. I love you forever and always, Caitlin. I began to imagine my future. Not our future, just my future on its own. Something happened in this moment that I've been saving to share with you for a long time. All of the different versions of my future that I could see in my head all had one thing in common. You. I could not imagine a future of mine without you. There is no me without you. I feel like we can beat anything. This world has to throw at us. Now finish getting ready. I'll wait for you at the end of the aisle. I'll be the one in a suit next to the old guy. Love, Matthew.